Hi, Fairman. Okay, finally it is evaluation day. I apologize it's taken me a little longer than normal. I missed an evaluation day last week. Um, we've got some personal stuff going on, which seems to be the, the way things go these days. <laughs> nice watch. Nice watch. Um, cosmetically, it looks nice. It definitely needs some work. But before we talk about the numbers, I mean, look at the brightness. The brightness of the movement. See the shine on these beveled faces of the plates. See the iridescence of the metal. See the brightness of the balance. No oxidation. It's clean. It's a very good thing to see when I open the back, but it absolutely needs service. This is at full power. This is at full power. So tons of bead error and it's running very weakly. Um, Tons of beat error running very weakly. It is way out of whack. Um, it just, you know, it needs its service. I don't see any servicing marks inside this thing at all. It's it's also, it's got some of the things that we often see with these. If you watch this screw, this screw is the top of the mainspring arbor. The axle that the mainspring barrel rotates on. If you watch this, when I push down on this, see all that movement? The lower, the lower plate is is the hole for the this lower plate is all worn, and that's going to have to be given some love. But I mean that's super typical for these. It's super typical. Hang on, let's talk cosmetics because there's not much else to talk about really in terms of the movement. Um, things I do see there has been some moisture inside. You can't really see it. There's this like peppery, flaky stuff right in here. Little signs, little signs of moisture. Nothing major, but there's definitely something there. The ceiling surfaces look great. It's a very, very early example, 6309 from June 1976. June 1976. It's original. The Altex is slightly faded, but not bad. The hands are a little peppery, but again, not bad. And you can see some more of the dish coloration here on this, the loom pip here. It's a good watch. It's an honest watch. It's an original watch. Definitely shows some wear. Crew screw, crown screws down nicely. I don't see any functional issues. Your can opinion feels good. It's original. It's an original, original watch. It's never been abused. I'd had a slight seal problem, sealing problem, but... We service this and rebuild the case, and you've got yourself a more than decent watch. Gosh, these are going up in value like you just wouldn't even believe. They're getting so expensive now. I found a website um, that is selling a non-SUA, very late version, 1986, 1985, I'm sorry, $1,100 for one of these unserviced. They're just getting crazy. Okay, good watch. So, oh, let's look at the crystal. No, the crystal's got some dings on it. If it were me, I would replace the crystal. Uh, service the movement, lower mainspring, arbor port repair, case and seal rebuild, and you're going to be good to go. I think that's pretty straightforward. Nice watch. Cool. All right.